Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We are just recovering from a very intense raid. Every single one of our adult colonists got injured in this raid. Um, I think Minyaka and Tronka suffered some ear injuries due to the raid. It's going to affect their hearing and I don't know what that stat really means in terms of how their character functions in the colony. I hope it's not going to affect them too badly, um, but in any case, that was a that was a tough raid, and we need to be ready, more ready for the next one. We just accepted a quest that's going to give us access to a couple masterwork weapons. So once we get those, we will hopefully be better equipped for the next raid because I think good weapons will make all the difference. They'll deal more damage. They'll be more accurate. We also need a crowbar and tomboy to to grow up. Um, it's going to be a little while before crowbar grows up, but I think tomboy will be a little sooner. What is it, like age 16 when they're considered an adult? So that's six more years. <sighs> that sounds like such a long time though. It really is such a long time. At least Crowbar's keeping on top of his education. We've had some random cows join the colony. Okay. Well, congrats at joining the colony. We are going to lead you back to the pen and then slaughter you straight away for the meat. Because we're running low on food. Food is a serious issue right now. Um, hello? Is anyone gonna deal with this fire? There's literally a baby in a field that's burning. And everyone's just sleeping. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We're better than this. We're better than this. Poor Kamba, just sleeping out in the hay field that's on fire. Okay, are we gonna leave the baby outside? Is it really that that hot inside? Yeah, okay, thank you. That's where Kamba belongs. Man, we need to get some air conditioning research. So we're currently researching smithing, then I think we go carpet making, and then I think we head straight into electricity. Once we get electricity, we're going to really be able to make this colony a lot easier to sustain. Okay, so good news is, is that overnight, Tronka and Jay managed to fully recover from their wounds. Olga is probably close behind. Yep. Yep. I think Olga will be healed within one day. Uh, Minyak is going to take a little bit more time to, to heal fully, and that's okay. Tronka is continuing to read which is good. Currently researching carpet making by reading this book, which is great. Um, currently filling recreation and uh, researching at the same time. It's a good use of time. This fire is going out of control. We actually have two separate fires. No, five separate fires raging on the map right now. We're going to be hurting for wood. We're really going to be hurting for wood. Okay. But once the fires get too close to our base, our colonists are prioritizing putting out the fires, which is exactly what we want them to be doing. Oh boy. The problem is, is our base is made of wood. Our base is like a tinderbox. Okay, well. I guess we'll just let the fires burn. There's nothing we can do. Oh, thank God it's raining. Without that rain, we might have just lost like all of the wood on our map. I've never had this many fires at one time. Oh my gosh. So we have a lynx hunting our, um, hunting our animals for food. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna have Jay and Tronka at the ready, and we're gonna hunt this lynx. Okay, so Tronka. Where did the lynx go? Here's the lynx. So I'm gonna have you fire at the lynx. Jay, I'm gonna have you fire at the lynx. Says the timber wolf is getting revenge. Oh boy, I should not have had this on uh, high speed. Oh boy, Tronka, no. Minyaka, I need you to get out here and rescue Tronka. Oh 
Okay, come on, dog. Okay, the dog is coming to help us at least this time. Oh my gosh, I think Jay just, uh, Jay just shot the, the dog instead of the, the wolf. Okay, any permanent injuries? No. Any new injuries that need to be dealt with? Yes. Okay. Well, everyone, back to business, I guess. Olga, can you go ahead? Can you go ahead and do me a favor? Um, I need Olga. I need you to prioritize hauling this into the storage barn. We don't want this masterwork bro to degrade over time, sitting outside in the rain. Uh, we didn't even get the bobcat. We accidentally had a collateral shot on a timber wolf that went berserk and started attacking us. I don't necessarily blame the wolf for attacking us, but it is unfortunate. And we have a bunch of dead people sitting out here. What's going on with that? Why haven't we hauled them into our our corpse corpse zone? I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, Olga's fully healed. Tronka and Minyaka are probably going to need more time. How come nobody has rescued um, Tronka? What's going on with that? Huh? Jay? Can you, like, rescue Tronka or what? Jesus. This is a little bit of a disaster episode. But isn't every episode a little mini disaster happens? I feel like this disaster is the new norm. Jay is tending to Tronka. Good. We'll have Tronka then in turn tend to Minyaka. Minyaka just has like one new cut. We just don't want this cut to get um, infected, basically. But yeah, Tronka really got beat up bad. Beat up badly. So there's still a bobcat slinking around. Jay has become completely untethered from reality, ranting about impossible subjects. He will snap out of it in a few hours. Okay, so he's turned into like a Lovecraft story. Uh, Minyaka, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and preach health to Tronka. And I'm gonna need you to tend to Tronka. Nope, I need you to prioritize tending to Tronka, not doing anything with with Kamba. Kamba can sleep out in the rain. That's probably fine. Kamba won't die. It's just a baby. Okay. Poor Tronka. Poor Tronka. Death in two hours? Oh my gosh, we really cut it close there. Wow. Okay. Tronka's gonna need some a lot of time to recover. Consciousness at 10%? Oh my gosh. Poor guy. Who's gonna take care of Minyaka? Minyaka? I'm gonna have you allow self-tend so you can tend, tend your own injuries because Jay's too crazy to do it. Actually, Jay's not going crazy anymore. That was a short, that was a short spurt of craziness, Jay. Um, hey Minyaka, can you like get in bed and get ready so that Jay can tend, tend to your wounds? I don't want you getting infected because you're standing out in the rain playing Hoopstone. Okay, Jay, I need you to prioritize tending to Minyaka. At least we're going to get some good doctoring skills out of all this. Of course Minyaka has an infection. All right, so we are going to say allow medicine, best quality medicine. Jay, you are going to stop whatever you're currently doing. And then you are going to prioritize tending to Minyaka. But first you're going to clean the bedroom so we can have a better tend quality. Minyaka? Minyaka, what are you doing? Minyaka, you need to stay in bed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Olga, I need you to help clean the bedroom. Minyaka, how, how can I get you to go to bed? 
We need to tend to your your infection. Okay, Minyaka is insisting on eating a meal before uh, before she'll let us tend tend to her wounds. Okay, now Jay, I need you to prioritize tending to Minyaka. Um, Olga, can you continue cleaning this bedroom? Did I say you could be done? Okay, 103% quality. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. The infection's already gotten up to 23% though. Immunity is actually only a few percent behind. I think we'll be okay. How's Tronka's recovery? Definitely still terrible. Okay, I mean, Tronka was beaten to within an inch of his life by a timber wolf. There's a new quest, the Wanted Prisoners. Orange Senpio, the same guy who, who we're taking the rat we're taking care of the rat for, uh, has captured two prisoners from an enemy faction with no place to store them. Orange wants you to watch over them for 18 days until a prison is ready. Um, for taking care of some prisoners, we can get this guy to join our colony. He's good at a lot of diverse skills, actually, but he won't do any fighting and that's a little bit of a deal breaker not a good enough deal for us right now so we're gonna pass we're gonna pass we definitely have the prison capacity we just need to move tomboy into a new room um, but i don't think it's worth us spending all that extra food we're currently out of food and our cook why is there a mad stallion oh my gosh who's gonna fight this mad stallion um, okay, you two, who are still in possession of your full faculties, I need you guys to get ready to attack this mad stallion. Okay, well, that happened. We got two shots off before it's starting to attack us with melee. And now I guess we're, we're meleeing a mad stallion. This game will not let up. We need Tronka back online to start cooking meals for us again. In the meantime, we need someone else to do some cooking for us. So who else has any cooking skills whatsoever? Jay has a cooking skill of two. Okay, Jay, you are now a priority one cook until otherwise stated. Please. Let us not die of starvation in this time of hardship. Olga, any serious injuries? No, just a bruise or two. Okay, Olga will be fine. Olga will be just fine. This game is relentless, man. Unfortunately, the Preach Health uh, buff has already worn off for Tronka, and I don't think Minyaka can recast it for another few days. So, Tronka's recovery is going to be slow. Hey, Jay, I need you to prioritize butchering. And then I need you to prioritize cooking. Okay, let's go to our pen. We're also going to need to slaughter some animals. So we have a 13 and a 14 year old. These are probably old. We can keep this kind of younger pair of cow and bull alive. We can also, I think, slaughter these extra cows and bulls here just for some extra meat, to be honest. Okay. So after we're done with this, Jay, I'm going to need you to prioritize cooking. His cooking skill is terrible, so people are going to die of food poisoning, but we don't have Tronka online, so this is the best we have. No, Minyaka, don't eat the raw meat. No, don't do it. No, Jay, come on. Oh, are we out of wood too? We're out of wood, so we can't fuel the stove. So I need to go to production. No, I need to go to orders, chop wood. Guess we can chop some wood down here. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster. 
This is this is really a disaster. Okay, Tronk is back at it. No, Tronk, don't consume the beef. Can't cook, we need wood. Oh my gosh. Jay, this is an emergency. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, Jay's tending to Minyaka. That's fine, I guess. The infection? Okay, the immunity is beating the infection. We should be able to pull through this. But really starving is the issue we're dealing with right now. How's our corn doing? 77% grown? Still gonna need a few more days. Jay really needs to prioritize. What is Jay up to these days? Jay, I need you to prioritize harvesting these uh, trees. We need to chop trees so that we can fuel the stove so that we can cook some real food. Okay, it's a whole, it's a whole order of important things that need to get done and harvesting cotton is at the bottom of that list. Okay, so Tronka, I need you to prioritize cooking. Please, and thank you. Who is in charge of slaughtering the animals? Minyaka is. Minyaka, what are you doing? Relaxing? I think not. You have to slaughter this bull, please. No relaxation for you, Minyaka. Oh boy. Okay, we can probably also slaughter this stallion. If I mark it for hunting, somebody will just walk up and slaughter it. Okay, Tronka, back online cooking. So Jay, you're no longer responsible for cooking. We're gonna let Tronka handle that. Okay, okay, slowly but surely, we're getting our stuff back together. I really hope this harvest of corn pays off. We're practically starving because the corn takes so long to grow. We told ourselves it would be more efficient, but I guess we didn't factor in the starving part. Tronka no longer has his weapon equipped. Okay, we're gonna have to re-equip Tronka with his masterwork recurve bow. After Tronka's done cooking. Cooking is pr priority number one. I don't think we're gonna have any need for a bow to defend our base anytime soon. I think the game's gonna give us a little bit of a break. It better. After all it's put us through today. Look how filthy these rooms are. Oh my gosh, we need a janitor badly. Tomboy, you're gonna be our janitor. 23 more days of paralytic abasia. The minute you're better, I think we're going to forego your education in favor of just having you clean the colony. Oh boy. You have got to be kidding me. We're getting raided. They're coming in transport pods, which means they're probably high tech. And there's probably more than three of them. Yep, okay, there's a fourth one over here. Good thing I caught that. So we're being attacked by four angles. Oh no, no, four people by two angles. Tronka is going to be kind of useless in this fight, honestly. Yep, yep. Minyaka, as far as being a melee fighter is going, Minyaka is not going to be very useful in this fight either because Minyaka is going to probably fall unconscious while fighting. So we really only have Jay and Olga to deal with this. So we have to be preemptive. We don't want to be attacked from two angles. So we're going to prompt this guy to attack. We're going to take this guy out right now. We're going to take this guy out right now. Once we take this guy out, then we only need to worry about the three people on this side. And we might just be able to pull this off. If we do, it'll be a miracle. Okay, you two, I need you to move in just a little closer. Close enough to where we can start firing.
Okay. I need. Let's do a tactical retreat. Uh, I want to check this guy's moving. He's still moving at full speed. So we really need to kite him. Looks like he's targeting Jay. So I'm going to move Olga around. We're going to move Jay around as well. So Olga can kite him around a little bit while Jay takes pot shots at this guy. Okay. Now, apparently we have a medical emergency. What's the medical emergency? Is it the infection? We're gonna be okay. We're gonna pull through this infection. I'm not too concerned about that. What I am concerned about is this raid. Oh my gosh, this pig, this guy is very tough. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna leave this guy on the ground. Um, actually, Olga, I want you to prioritize hauling this knife. And I'm gonna let you guys get some rest before the next uh, wave of assault happens. We're gonna let these guys come to us. We went out to attack those guys. We're gonna let these guys come to us, I think. Maybe, or we might get the advantage, honestly, by attacking them from across the, the water. I honestly think we might get the advantage if we go out to them. But I do want to give ourselves some time. Tronka still needs to equip his weapon, so Tronka, this is actually an important time. You need to equip your masterwork bow. We have a heavy SMG, a good heavy SMG. Did not realize that. We should start equipping some of these uh, these gun weapons. So I'll kind of think until we, maybe, maybe until we research electricity. Okay, they're beginning their assault. Maybe until we research electricity, we should stick with the tribal weapons. It seems better, better themed, you know? Okay, well, in this case, we're going to hide our guys behind cover and pray for the best. We're gonna hide our guys behind cover and pray for the best. We have a dog at least. What's happening to Minyaka? Why is she unconscious? Why is she unconscious? Is it because of the infection? It's because of the infection. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. We just have to pray and hope, hope to God that things work out. Okay, Olga, I need you to move up. There we go. Okay. Um, we have almost taken out one guy. Do we need to do a tactical retreat? I think we do. I think we do. Okay, so you three. Let's, uh... Let's move up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're attacking us with fire. This is bad. Okay, we've taken out one. We just need to take out this other guy and we should be okay. Okay, they are fleeing the battlefield. So, you guys are good to go. Olga, I need you to rescue Tronka, like right now. No, 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 no. Tronka can't die. Tronka can't die. Okay, Tronka is really, really, really badly wounded. Okay, Jay, um, sure, prioritize putting out the fire, but also, like, get yourself to safety. Um, oh my gosh. Jay, do you see this, um, do you see this masterwork bow? Can you go ahead and prioritize hauling it? That's Tronka's weapon. We don't want to lose that. That's very valuable. Okay, now that everyone's been saved, we need to go ahead and tend to wounds. So, Tronka. Who's tending to Tronka? Jay, are you tending to Tronka? Jay, I need you to prioritize tending to this guy's wounds or else this guy's gonna die. Minyaka, I hope you've overcome your infection. Yep, okay. Minyaka has overcome her infection at least. Kamba's just on the, on the floor. 
Oak is desperately trying to put out a fire, but I think this fire is going to rage out of control faster than we can put it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, Jay, come on. Trunk is in your hands. Jay, how are you doing? Jay also needs medical attention. So, Minyaka, I'm going to say you're in charge of taking care of Jay. You're in charge of taking care of Jay once Jay takes care of Tronka. Oh boy. Okay. Tronka's going to be okay. Minyaka, you need to take care of Jay now. Jay's going to go get something to eat though first. Okay, Minyaka's going to have a mental break though. There's nothing we can do about that. Minyaka needs to put out these fires. That's that's all there is to it. Uh, Jay, I'm going to say you're allowed to tend to yourself. So Jay, I'm going to say prioritize tending to yourself. Where are you currently? Uh, have you already been tended to? Nope. So Jay, if you're allowed to tend to yourself, how come you can't prioritize tending to yourself? Okay, now we can. Okay, good. Jay, go take care of yourself. Do what needs to be done. Okay. This has been one sketchy episode. I think we should end it here before something else bad happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hopefully we pull through and we don't have too many, you know, permanent major injuries. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.